Alright y'all, what is going on guys? And today we're back with another banger video. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we do have a collection video. We are going to be doing my entire manga collection. Now, last time I did a manga collection, I want to say it was almost two years ago now. And I believe I had just under maybe 100 volumes. I think the highest I've got up to since then was like almost 500. Now I cut back and I sold a lot of series that I just didn't need, I wasn't interested in, or I might have just bought on a whim like when I first started collecting manga. Um, but it's been two years since that video. Uh, we have about 300, if not, I think more than 300. I counted yesterday. It was like 300 something, like 300 something basically. And there's a lot of series that I want to continue reading, and I've got a lot into the more different series. I've branched off since that video, so we have a lot of stuff to go to. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you take a second out of your day. Hit that subscribe button because we post every other day, which is probably better than your favorite YouTuber, unless, of course, I'm your favorite YouTuber. Again, I do all types of videos, whether it's sneakers, streetwear, manga, anime, all that stuff, and we go on a lot of shopping sprees here in New York City, and we go to the, we try to find the best manga stores, so if you're into that stuff, subscribe to the channel. We're on the ground to 90,000 subscribers. Nonetheless, um, you guys probably don't see any manga. You're like, where's the manga? You might see the Naruto box sets. You see a Death Note box set right there, but we have a new shelf at the bottom of two mangas which you guys can't see. We have a bunch of manga at the bottom there. I have a whole rolling cart right here with manga. I have another shelf with manga right here. So we're just gonna get through this. So like I said, we have a bunch of volumes on the shelves over here. And then we also have a whole nother section right here which we'll get to last. Cause this is like my kinda to read section slash what I'm currently reading slash volumes that aren't complete yet cause they're still releasing and then other stuff as well. So we're gonna start off with the big shelves first. So just starting off in this little corner because it's kinda random, you can't really see. We have this little death note section and we got three just, these ones are more like novels. I believe the change the world one is a novel and then another note is is another novel but this one the short stories one that's the death note short stories book that one is really good and then also we have the box set right here so i'm going to move this over so you guys can see what's inside the box set and this was actually um my first ever box set i got this one and the nart and the i think it was the second naruto one around the same time like they were like amanda bought me this when we first got together she bought me this i forgot what it was for i don't know if it was for i don't remember what holiday but it was this right here boom but this is the Death Note box set, and it is beautiful. I love the spines. And one day when I'm in a different apartment or just a home, I do want to have a library. Like I, That's like a, a goal of mine is to have like shelves just dedicated to manga. So one day this will be out of the box. Right now, I just don't have the space to be taking all the stuff out of the box set as much as I want to. I just don't have the space. I live in a studio apartment. Like I can only do so much. Let me know if you guys want like a figure, a figure um, collection like with this, all the Funkos I have and stuff like that. I'm down to do that as well. But that was the first shelf. Making our way all the way down to the bottom right here. Right in the back, we do have Boruto. So I have, at least at the time I'm recording this, this is all that's out in English. It is 1 through 16 of the Boruto manga. And then we have two volumes of soul rescue i do want to continue that series it's just that i found this at a thrift shop for like three dollars no not even i think it was two bucks each so yeah and then we got iori ioshi right here um i started reading this one because i got it from book off for like four bucks a volume and i only read volume one so far so i'm still reading it it's just i didn't have anywhere else to put it so i put it right here right now and maybe we'll continue it i'm gonna see i'm gonna try to read the next three and then i'll decide if i want to continue doing it because like i said most of the time um, I do sell my manga at book off sometimes. They don't give good prices, so I wouldn't sell it there if, I, if like you're tr really trying to make money. But if I'm just trying to get rid of something and I'm just like, I know I could just get easy cash for it, that's what I do. Uh, Star Wars Rebels, I never read the manga. I just love Star Wars Rebels, so I wound up getting that. I just finished reading um, Bestia, the, or Bestia, I don't know how to pronounce it exactly, but I read that the other day. I got all three volumes for like the price of like one, so I was like, you know what, I gotta do that. And then Deadpool Samurai, I got that from Target, volumes one and two. Then, one of my favorite manga series, Series and like kind of what like I don't know made me continue reading manga if that makes sense is real account like I don't know I just really love real account for some reason and the final volume is coming out in I believe August so the last volume will come out in August and he's holding it up but uh yeah so we have all the volumes right here it's complete um, well, at least up to date and the last volume will come out in August Being over same thing with blood on the tracks I love blood on the, like this was like my first um I don't know what, what genre would you call Blood on the Tracks, but either way, it was like whatever the genre is called, that was like my first time reading a manga that wasn't like, you know, KC or it wasn't Tokyo Pop, it wasn't Viz, it wasn't like, this was my first time reading like something like, it wasn't Shonen, it was something like this and I really did enjoy it so much and I just can't
can't wait for the following volumes to come out and I'm definitely gonna be getting more from this mangaka. That's Blood on the Tracks, highly recommend it for anybody. Then, making our way right here, I'm not gonna open the box sets, but just know, we got all three. We finally got all three. I think the last time, like I said, last time I did a manga collection, I only had box set number two. So now we have box set number one, box set number three. It was a long journey trying to find these because I got these right like during, I would say like kind of coming out of COVID, there wasn't really box sets like that. Like they were reselling these box sets for 500. Now you could go on Amazon. I'm pretty sure you could buy all three. But at the time that I was getting these, they were very hard to find. Like this, I got at Barnes and Noble randomly because somebody returned it right in front of me and Amanda. And we were like, yup, picking that up. This one found at the manga store. And then this one I found at Kino as well. So winded up getting these two, I believe from Kino Kanuai. And then that one was from Barnes and Noble. So yeah, now I could go into Barn. Now I could go into Kino or any other store and they'll most likely at least have one of the three. And making our way down to the other side. So parallel to this one, this right here is kind of my completed readed series. So we have fairy tale volumes one through 12. And I know that is nowhere near completed for fairy tale, but Amanda bought me these and she wanted to find them at the thrift shop for like two dollars each so she wanted to just give me the first 12 volumes because that's all they had was one through 12 she picked them all up and surprised me with them so i love that like i probably not gonna read it to be honest with you just because if i do then i'm gonna have to continue fairy tale and it's like that's a lot of manga but for the simple fact it was a gift gotta keep it then we have number six which was a random manga that i just picked up on a whim like i just saw volume one and two in barnes and noble during the 50 percent off sale like buy one get one 50 percent off sale and i was like you know what i'm gonna continue reading it so i would literally the next day i ordered like the remaining volumes off of amazon and i binge read it so it's only nine volumes and i believe they just dropped omnibuses for it as well so that's pretty cool and then another one that i just finished reading was the tunnel to summer uh the fourth volume just came out the movie came out as well but the manga is way better than the movie i never read the novel so people from the novel are probably like the novel is better than the manga but i only read the manga and i watched the movie Manga's way better than the movie. And one of my favorite animes of all time is Soul Eater. So I just got the first three volumes. I do want to continue this one day and like just complete the whole manga because I know the manga is different than the anime, at least in terms of the ending. Um, and then they have Cells at Work, volume one. I just got that at five below one day. And then another thing from this thrift shop was this Viz Media sneak peek volume. Then making our way down, we do have Goodnight Pun Pun completed. If you guys saw in any of my TikToks or in my YouTube videos over the past, like I want to say like three, maybe not, maybe only two months, um, I was slowly reading Goodnight Pun Pun and I finished it and it was good. I'm not going to lie. It was really good. So I will definitely be checking out more stuff from this mangaka. Then moving over, we do have Blue Period. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I read the first five volumes of Blue Period. Like I love Blue Period. I read the first five volumes. And then, like, by the time volume six came out, it was, like, prime. Like, I was in school still. Like, I'm still in school. But, like, these were releasing during, like, school semester. And I was just so busy. Oh, hey, Itachi. What the heck? You came out of nowhere, baby. Yeah, in case you don't know, my dog's name is Itachi. So, I say hi to Itachi. And then I have another dog as well. He's probably sleeping. His name is Izumi. Sorry. Just had to throw that little Easter egg in there. But, as I was saying, Blue Period, um, all these volumes were released, like, during, like, prime school and i just had no time to read them so i still want to catch up and read them i was buying them because i was like i want to continue it because i love blue period so one day this summer i will probably just binge blue period and just read it then i got look back um this is actually really good as well enjoyed that and then chojin x from the creator of tokyo ghoul like i love tokyo ghoul one of my favorite manga slash anime of all time i really want to get the tokyo ghoul box set um probably gonna pick it up soon to be honest Taking our way up um i don't know if there's any manga here it's more just like the the naruto novels uh i guess is that no i don't think that's the month uh, these ones are the little chibi the sasuke chibi ones but other than that it's like the character book and then all the naruto novels some random dvds and stuff like that and then the art books as well so yeah then making our way up no more manga on here just kind of like my other random books that i have i have a tokyo ghoul art book as well and some other statues so i believe that's all on this shelf now let's move to the other side of the room so again at the time i'm recording this this is currently kind of what i'm reading so up here i did read the first three volumes of happiness because like i said i really did enjoy blood on the tracks and it's by the same person so i was like definitely gonna pick it up and i'm really enjoying happiness so Hey, I'm going to continue that and probably finish it. Um, Boys Run the Riot, Volume 1. I got that randomly, so I'm going to read that soon. Uh, Yotsubaya. I don't know how to pronounce it. Yotsuba. Yotsuba. I haven't started reading that yet. I have the first three volumes, though. I got them at Book Off for, like, a good price. Same thing with Dan Da Dan. Um... Is that how you say it? Like, dun, 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 like, dun, 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 like that. But anyway, I got the first three volumes. I'm probably going to read that today, to be honest with y'all. And then Call of the Night, I did 
just read um, volume six yesterday, I believe. So yeah, I'm gonna continue Call of the Night as well. Really do enjoy that one. And then I just got this yesterday, which was Spider-Man Fake Red. Very excited to read this. It is a Spider-Man manga, so I'm very excited about that. And yeah, um, honestly, I'm probably gonna read this today. I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably push this off to like another day, but I'm probably gonna read this because I'm very eager to read a Spider-Man manga. Then moving down, this is kind of stuff that is still releasing and I'm continuing reading. Like we have Kaiju number eight, waiting for volume seven, Go Go Loser Ranger. I'm pretty sure volume five just came out when I'm recording this. Um, so I have to go pick that up, but I did read. So this is all red. Everything here is red. I'm just waiting for the next volumes to come out. We have Sakamoto days up to whatever, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have volume up to seven. I think volume eight just came out as well. And then the hundred girlfriends who really, really, really love you. Um, this was just like a funny series that I picked up. Me and Amanda picked it up for a video and I wound it up, you know, it's cool it's fun like it's just a light read it's nothing crazy so yeah i gotta read the newest volume which was this one right here which is volume six and moving down we have some of the bigger volumes i have summertime rendering and i was reading all this like i i was picking it up one at a time and reading it so i wound up reading the first three volumes of summertime rendering and then while I was reading it, the anime dropped on Hulu, and I just watched the anime. I'm not gonna lie, I got lazy and I watched the anime, so Summertime Rendering is fire, and I do want to at least get the last three volumes eventually, even though I know everything that happens, I just want to get them just to complete the set, because I feel bad. Then we have Blue Lock, um, again, by the time this video is out, volume seven is probably out, and I just need the English manga to catch up, because I don't like reading online, I know it's gonna sound crazy, but I like having the physical book, that's just me. I need them to catch up, because... Bruh, me and Amanda just rewatched Blue Lock. Like, I just rewatched it with her so she could see it and she loves it too. And the last and final completed series we have is Hunter x Hunter. So, this is the. Well, actually, it's not completed because volume 37 is apparently coming out in October because, you know, he just had to release another volume and then he'll never drop another one again. So, just when I thought it was complete and it looked like, you know, good here, I found a space for all 36 volumes. I'm not going to be able to fit at 37, so I don't know where I'm going to put Hunter. The last manga is Berserk Volume 1, which I have yet to read. Will bought it for me for my birthday last year, and I have yet to read it. I'm going to read it. It's just like, I just know I'm going to read it and obviously like it. And it's like, I don't want to be dropping $50 of volume. Like, But they're so beautiful, so like, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to read it eventually, though. Don't get it twisted. I will read it eventually. I y'all, I believe that's all the manga I have. Again, if you want like a figure tour and stuff like that, like I have a lot more of that stuff over here as well. Like I have a whole Hunter Hunter cart. I'm not gonna show y'all too much. Got a little Star Wars thing over there. We got some more over here. Like, hey, just, just, just know we got a lot of anime manga things. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And anyway, that's pretty much it for today. Stay tuned because it, probably within the next week, we're gonna be doing a huge shopping haul. Like we're gonna be going to like five to six different manga slash anime stores, street wear store stuff like that so just sit back relax hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications grind to 90,000 subscribers and i'll catch y'all in the next one we out Brr, bow. i'm on a road i can't get caught i'm a bit different stage my mama blowing on my phone seeing if i'm okay i had to get up out the hood find another way